Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another video. Now this video is something different. I have never done this video before or this type of video on my channel. So it's more of a memory keeping. Um, I've done it in some of my plan with me but this one I decided to do it separately because I thought I would add this in my plan with me but it made the video too long. There's a certain section in the Happy Planner. I don't know if you guys noticed this section. This is your note section or monthly glance section. As you can see here, I'm gonna flip it to February. So this part, I rarely use that part. And last year I'm like, oh my gosh, it's such a waste of space. What could I use it for? So I've decided to use it as a month at a glance memory keeping. And what it is is that well, I got this idea actually from my father-in-law because his new year resolution was to take a picture every day. Doesn't matter what kind of picture, but he will have to take a picture every day. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that is such a great idea, right? But obviously I won't be taking pictures every day, but events or anything that's on my iPhone that ranges from you know January 1st to January 31st, I will look through it and pull out the photos that I like. On the computer, I rescaled it to a smaller size, put them all in one page, and printed it, printed them on to a photo glossy paper. So I have these two extra that I didn't put in the monthly view is because I figured I could do a separate one just for Mason's birthday and put it in the week of his birthday. So as you can see here, his birthday, we had a little birthday party and it's Dory themed. They are, they are in their pajamas the, the morning before the party. Because he had a Dory theme birthday party, I decided to make this memory card like a uh, sea theme, water theme. I've cut the two scrapbook paper that I'll be using for the memory card into its size. I usually like to do a six by six for the outer one and a five by five for the inner one inner inner one so I'm just gonna play around with the layouts I don't know if you guys can hear from the background that my printer is going off but yes so I'm just gonna play around with the layouts and just start taping everything together I'll be using this Jolie boutique sticker I got a 50% off coupon from Michael so I thought you know what I'm gonna use that coupon towards those stickers because they're so stinking cute and if there's room left over I might use some of this man be happy birthday sticker book too and once again more rearranging because I really don't know what layout how I like to position this So because it is a sea theme, water theme, I got this scrapbook paper and I'm going to make little waves out of them. Because the scrapbook paper was already ombre, I decided to cut three sections out. There's a light, a medium tone, and a dark shade. And all these are going to be waves. The easiest way that I could figure to achieve waves are using my scallop scissors here. I'm just going to show you. and. Because it's a scallop scissors, the scallop part will look like scallops like this. However, the other side, the left side of it, I'm showing you the scallops right now. So see, this is the scallops, but the other side of it is actual waves. It kind of look like waves. Once I have them all cut out, I'll be playing around with the layout just to see how I like it before I glue it down. Once that's down, I'm going to trim it off and repeat the same thing to the above picture. Thank you. 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but with the above one here, I alternated the blues. Here, I'm just trying it out. But I decide to flip the dark blue into the middle and the mid blue into the bottom. Just to give the card a little bit more dimensional looks so it's not too uniformed. I also got this matching washi tape from Recollection, well from Michaels. So I decided to use it just to give the memory card more dimension and texture to it. I'm a person that don't like weights so I saw this, this is actually the other side of the waves, the scallop part and it kind of looked like borders so here I am just testing it out just to see if it works with the memory card and I think it does and I really really like the dark one because it stands out more against the turquoise at the back. And now for the fun part, just decorating this memory card with these cute, cute, cute stickers. And ta-da! I am just so in love with this. I think it's the sticker that just makes it amazing because <laughs> I just love the stickers. And before I could put it into my planner, I just got to add some holes into this. So I'm just using this as a template, trace my holes and use just a single hole puncher to punch some holes in it and a pair of scissors just to trim out the edges. And there you go guys, all I have to do is put it back into its corresponding week, which is the first week of January, and we're all done. So I hope you guys enjoy this memory scrapbooking video, and it's first of the video that I decide to do as a separate thing from my plan with me. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up or leave your comments down below, yay or nay, or if you guys want to see more or not anymore. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.